Today I'd like to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, being your own raving fan. Uh, R-A-V, rave, is what we're going to talk about today and why you deserve to be your own raving fan. So often when we do competitions like this, we crush it for a while, right? For like six weeks. And then what do I hear on way out? Oh, what are we going to eat? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Everybody's excited about that meal that they're going to go have, that debaucherous, horrible, make you sick to your stomach meal. And then what happens is we all kind of get a little bit lost along the way, right? The goal is to not get lost if you're going to have a debaucherous meal, to get right back on. But something happens to us. We kind of lose our way a little bit. And we lose our way because of a belief system. And the belief system has been instilled in us by the choices that we make throughout our, our life. And we start to build this belief system up in almost all of us. I would like to say probably most of us have this belief system. <coughs> the first one is that we believe that we are going to fail again. And I say again because how many times have we tried diets? How many times have we tried fitness centers? How many times have we tried videos? And we get to the two-week point, the ten-year point, and we fail, right? We stop, we quit, we gain weight, we lose weight, we gain weight again. Does that sound familiar? And so we begin to believe that that is our story, that our story is that because we failed in the past, we're going to definitely fail again. And so we start to believe that we're failures and we cannot succeed. Another belief system that holds us back is the belief that we can't hit our goals. I cannot tell you how many times in coaching sessions I sit down with people and they have a certain weight that they always can get to. And when they get to that weight, they start to hold and rise because they believe that although they want to get 10, 15, 60 pounds less, they can't get there. They believe that when they hit that weight in their heart of hearts, that's the end for them. And so we hold ourselves back because we believe we cannot hit our goals. And the final belief system is that everybody else is more important than me. And that's a hard one to understand because as a society, we want to say, well, we always should put others first. But there are times when you should be first. And when we believe that everybody else has value, what do we do with our time? Instead of getting our exercise, instead of making healthy food choices, we go and take care of everybody else. We go to a party and we don't want to make anybody feel bad, so we want to eat their dessert even though we're not eating sugar, right? We go to um, a friend who has the birthday party at a pizza place, and instead of eating first and then just enjoying a salad when you get there, you have the pizza because you don't want to hurt their feelings. Well, what about you? What about your goals? Do you know that if you had just had that salad, then you would not have hurt their feelings? Would your feelings have been hurt? No, you would actually be inspired by them to be like, oh, I should have had salad. <laughs> so we have these belief systems that are rooted in our historical uh, experiences, but there is no truth behind them. There are three belief systems that I'd like to share with you guys today that can help supercharge your results. And they come in the form of the word RAVE, R-A-V. I want you to try to remember the acronym so that as you're letting the old belief system take over, you can stop and begin to RAVE. The first belief is that the results are worth it. When we want a goal, we set a goal. And that goal we start working towards. But at some point, we start to believe that the goal is not worth the effort anymore. We start to decide, oh, exercise is hard. Saying no to pizza and yes to salad is hard. Getting up at four in the morning to go work out is hard. Getting enough sleep is hard. And we start to believe that the results are no longer worth it. So if you can believe that your results are worth it, the result that you're going to get is worth the time it takes to plan ahead your food and to meal prep. It's worth the time it takes to go get your workout in. Matter of fact, now I know all y'all are exercisers and you have more energy after than before, don't you? So we actually gain energy by expending energy. So we're not helping ourselves by skipping the workout. 
believe that you, um, your results are worth the time to rest, restore, and sleep. We were just having this conversation. It is so important to rest, recover, and sleep. What happens when you uh, work out, exercise hardcore for two to three hours a day? Right, we have, we have those crazies in the room. You exist, you know who you are. <laughs> we believe that by doing all that extra work, we're gonna lose more weight. But what I, ends up happening is the body breaks down and there's not enough time to recover between workouts. And because we're not sleeping enough at night, getting our seven to hours, eight hours of sleep, our body does not restore. So what does it lead to? Injuries, burnout, and um, fatigue, right? That's what it ends up leading to. It doesn't lead to our goals. So um, it's important to believe that your results are worth allowing yourself to sleep, to rest, and to recover. You can believe in your results. So that's your R. The second one is the A, achievable. Believe that your results are achievable. And this is how you can believe that. You set SMART goals. We talked about this at the very beginning. And for those of you who don't know what a SMART goal is, it's an acronym that means specific. So you set a specific goal. I will lose 10 pounds. It's measurable. It has to be measurable. So 10 pounds is measurable. You can get on a scale, right? A, it has to be attainable, yes. It can't be, I weigh 200 pounds, I'm gonna lose 100 pounds. Probably not realistic, right? It's not attainable. And the R is realistic, very much like A. And the T is time bound. If you don't set an end date, it will never end, right? If you say, I'm gonna lose 10 pounds, but you never set an end date, your chance of losing 10 pounds is small. But if you say, I'm gonna lose 10 pounds over the next six weeks, very good chance you'll be successful. So you have to set those SMART goals to make sure that your goal is A, achievable. You have to know that you are capable. How many of you believed when you started the competition on day one that you were capable? How about day 30? Right, we start to doubt ourselves, don't we? So me believing that you are capable, and when you don't believe you're capable anymore, remind yourself of what you've already achieved and what you have the ability to achieve. You have breath in your lungs, right? You have sight in your eyes. You have feet that move, most of us. <laughs> and those things will allow you to keep moving. You are capable. And don't let previous attempts tell you what this attempt is gonna do, right? Don't let previous attempts tell you what this one is going to do, because this is not those previous attempts. Truman Capote said that failure is the condiment that uh, gives success flavor. Think about that. Failure is the condiment that gives flavor to success. When we fail, it's just a step, and every time that we struggle, all we have to do is get back up, brush ourselves off, and do it again, because how sweet will success be? Yes? How sweet will it be? So the first time you tried to lose weight, you fell flat on your face. So the second time, you fell flat on your face. So the third time. This fourth time could be the time if you believe you can. So allow yourself to savor that success when you get there. The third part of RAVE is value. Believe that you have value. And I will tell you from my experience, this is the one that is hardest for most. You are valuable. You serve a purpose on this earth. You are amazing. We don't hear that enough, but it is true. You are amazing, you are capable, and you can have the success that you want. You are worth the time you are worth the effort. And as soon as you put yourself forward once in a while, I'm not saying that you put yourself on a pedestal and let everybody else fall dead, right? But there is a point where you have to put yourself first. A couple things are gonna happen. One, you are gonna succeed. Because if you believe that you have enough value that you can turn off that alarm, get out of bed, and get your work on it. If you believe that you have enough value that you can take that time for yourself to prepare food that's healthy, then you will not only get to your goals, but you're going to inspire others, aren't you? What happens when you see someone being amazing? You look at them and go, wow, 
I wish I could do that. You will inspire others to do what you're doing. You will be an agent of change. So you have value, you have purpose, and you can be successful. So to be your own raving fan, R-A-V, don't forget those letters, you need to believe in the results. You need to believe that it is A, achievable, that you can hit that result. And V, you have to believe that you have personal value, that you're fearfully and wonderfully made. You have to believe that that result is available to you by setting your SMART goals. And you have to believe that you have as much value as the people you love. And they want you to be healthy. As we age, what happens to our body? You get old. You get old. Things start to hurt. Things start to break down. Things start to not work as well as they once did. Yet we still have the mind of our young body, don't we? We want to go do all the crazy things our young bodies did. And by valuing yourself enough, to do the exercise and eat healthy and maintain a healthy weight, your blood cholesterol gets under control, your blood pressure gets under control, diabetes gets under control, your joint pain gets under control. You're able to go up and down the stairs with comfort and ease. You're able to get on and off the floor and play with your grandchildren and your children. You're able to sail a boat across the world. <laughs> you can do whatever you set your mind out to if you put your effort in and put your time in and become your own raving fan. On the table in front of you, you're going to find some stones. The word on the stone is believe. I couldn't get them to put rave on one, so it's believe. I want you guys to believe in yourself. Pick up your stone. We're going to do a little activity. Some people call these memory stones. Some people call them forgetful stones. Some people call them heavy in their pockets. But I want you to hang on to it and remember your RABs. So for a moment, pause, close your eyes if it helps you to think. I want you to think about what your result is. What are you after? What are you going after? Whether it is a weight loss goal, a health goal, a life goal, what is the result? And then I want you to think about how your life will be better when you achieve that result. Focus on that. Because the result is not enough. It's what we get for it, right? If we set a goal of losing 10 pounds, but there's no benefit to losing 10 pounds, who the flip cares about 10 pounds? But if that 10 pounds is going to make your knees feel better, if that 10 pounds is going to make you get on and off the floor with more ease, now it has value. So think about your R, your result and connect to why it will make your life better. Focus on one that is A, achievable. And then B, the hardest one. Close your eyes right now. Believe you have value. <coughs> See yourself as an important person in your family, in your workplace, in society. See the value that you have. Because each and every one of you are on this earth for a reason, and you have a purpose, and you have value, and you need to believe that. Now, I want you to hang out in the stone forever and ever. I will be checking in on you guys in 20 years. And asking you, <laughs> you can keep it in a pocket, in a purse, on your nightstand, in the windowsill above your, your refrigerator. You can put it on your desk, but every time you See that stone. I want you to remember your goal, your achievable goal, and the fact that you are valuable and worth doing the work it takes to get there.